finding the domain of a logarithm. You can't, you can't, oh no you can't, take the log of just any number. For, an, for instance, let's take a look at what happens if you um, take the log of a negative number. Yeah. Got my trusty TI here. Uh-huh, sure, TI if you wanna throw me some money, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, and I'm not talking about that TI either. I mean, sure, I asked this thing, what you know about math? I know, right? Well, <laughs> little Beavis. Okay, so then I'm taking a look at this. Yeah, get right in there. Okay, what happens if we take the log of minus three? Can you see that? Oh man, that little light's on there, huh? Okay, there it is. Err, it angers my calculator. See, it's ERR, err. It angers my calculator. Yeah. Um, and here's why. If we're taking a look at this logarithm, man, and you wanted to graph that, man, you know that. Um, this is a shift right three. T he, T he. So we see if we graph this thing, one, two, three. My special point is gonna be at four. My asymptote is gonna be at three. And it goes. This is a different problem than the one I had in the calculator. This is one that shifted. But hey, you know what? I could have asked this one. Hey, um, at zero, then you got the log of negative three, huh? I asked my calculator, oh, at log um, four or whatever, it goes out and it gladly returns me this value and it's like, oh yeah, that's a one. Yeah, great, all right, fine. But if I had asked my calculator to find me the log of zero in that particular function, it would have gone over here. It would have looked high and it would have looked low. And it would have found nothing. And that angers my calculator. It goes, Arr. So how do we find the domain of a logarithm? Okay, I need to look at the argument. The argument. In that argument, I wanna ask it. Oh, argument. Where are you bigger than zero? Let's talk about it. Can it be, can we include zero? Mm -mm -mm. No way, man. Why? Because the log looks like this and it has an asymptotic action at x is equal to zero. So I cannot include zero. So I keep on keeping on, man. I solve. I finish him. X has to be bigger than three for the domain of this. So we'll write it up like that in nice curlies. The domain of f is, let me get a nice marker. Mm hmm. Curlies, what are we talking about? We're talking about x. Where, what does x do? x is bigger than three. Tee hee, tee hee. And we do. And a flat.